want to show you a feature of MicroProfile REST Client 1.4, where you can now use CDI to have a more dynamic way to specify your HTTP headers. To demonstrate this, I've created a sample project uh, using MicroProfile 3.3, and I'm deploying the application to Open Liberty using the Liberty Maven plugin. And the first Liberty version, which implements uh, MicroProfile 3.3, is the fourth version of 2020 so i've specified it here but you can also use uh, one of the latest um, right now the application has a simple micro profile rest client nothing new here so i'm specifying a, a remote rest api quotes.rest um, where i'm just returning a random or a quote of the day and this JSON object gets passed to a JAXRS endpoint. And here I am simply returning the result to a client. Um, in the past, you could always specify HTTP headers on your REST client using uh, different uh, ways. One way was to specify this client header param, where you could specify the name. Let's give it here a simple name. So if you specified it here at the interface level, it would be propagated to all your methods. You could also like uh, specify it just on, on one of your interface method to just uh, use it, use the HTTP header here. So let's do it here also. But using this method, it was more of a, a static way to specify the HTTP headers. What you could also do in the past to have a little bit uh, of a dynamic way to specify header, you could like specify here at header param, give this a value, for example, let's call it client ID, um, string client ID. And then the, the user of this method could like dynamically specify a, a HTTP header from outside and use also CDI to um, calculate the value here. Besides these ways of specifying an HTTP header for your micro profile REST client, there was also another way um, where you could implement a, a interface called client header factory. And with this uh, implementation, you could like set um, multiple headers uh, in one run using a um, uh, programmatic approach here. And what this method does, it gets past um, the incoming headers. So these are the headers, uh, they are present if uh, the execution happened in a JAXRS request. So they might be empty, but if your REST client is used um, like we do it, so it's used uh, directly within a JAXRS request or in a subsequent call of Ajax arrest request, um, then these uh, multi-valued map would contain the incoming headers. Then also the client outgoing headers are passed and these are the headers we specified in our REST client directly. So all these headers here would be present there. Let's quickly remove this for now. And what you could then do while implementing this interface, you could return like the final list of HTTP headers you want to use for this uh, REST client call. So you could think of uh, either merging both or if you want to pass um, incoming headers, like for example, an authorization header to a downstream system, you could like take some headers of the incoming headers, merge them with the headers you specified and then return these. So this was uh, possible um, for a long time with MicroProfile REST Client, but with the latest version of MicroProfile REST Client, we are now able to use in here CDI. So we can now uh, inject any uh, CDI beans or also use MicroProfile Config um, in here to um, calculate a HTTP header value in a more dynamic way. Um, to show you how this is possible, um, let's first make this itself also a CDI bean. And a good use case might be, so first let's to, let's say our um, quotes endpoint requires basic auth. So we need um, a basic auth header. 
and as we where is the hash implementation here and as we don't want to like leak our password and username within our application code statically we could think of uh, injecting it using microprofile config so let's ask for a secret here so and within the microprofile config properties we see here i've specified a password duke42 so it's not secret here it's password and to now return this so we can like add a new header to our result let's call it authorization and for the value i would say simply base64 encoded code to string and here we can like say what is our username it's like duke column and then the password and for this we need the bytes So that would be a possible use case to use CDI here. And in addition, let's also for now put all headers which are incoming to the result and also all headers which we specified here. And to quickly make sure that all headers are present, let's print them out. So I simply same key value okay that's it and to register this at our endpoint um, no at our um, risk client we have to use the register client headers annotation and then can specify here the class name of our implementation which is in our case global headers let's save this now let's start open liberty in development mode Now the application is deployed and let's use curl to access our quotes endpoint and get the quote of the day. So you see here we got the quote of the day and while using curl we also had some headers set here. So you see we have the, the host header we set, we set the user agent and an accept header. So within our client headers factory we should also now see them in addition to our manually specified headers and our authorization header we passed in in a dynamic way and that's the output we expected here so you see like this is now the final list of http headers we are using for our microprofile rest client call and first you could see here our basic auth header in reality you would need basic prefix here to make it work let's add it here so here we would now have set basic authentication using microprofile config as a header and also we put together like all headers we specified manually with the client outgoing headers and also added all incoming headers as this call was made with an express um, environment that's everything I wanted to share with you with uh, the new feature in MicroProfile REST Client 1.4. Have fun using it. Mm -hmm.